But first, let's talk about what's hot now. Seriously, Yams, we had a great time last night. You are such a gifted performer. Oh, it was thank so you. fun so seeing you in your element. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was so glad you guys came out. I know we start really early in the morning, so I want to thank you guys for going past your bedtime uh, to be with it me. It was worth I've it. I've never laughed so hard. Did you ever hear so Meredith fun. Vieira laugh during a show? She's a great <laughs> audience member because yeah. she laughs at everything. Because I can't stop. Yeah. It was so great. You have yeah. the best Giggle. laugh. You have really the did. best laugh. Be you get church Between the show funny. and a couple gin and tonics, I was so happy. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> All right, I get up in the morning. What is it with celebrities the men, celebrity men, and their nannies. I do not understand this. Okay, this is the latest. You know that Gwen Stefani and her husband, uh, Gavin Rossdale, have broken up. You know, that, that happened. Now, according to... I know, it's sad, but according to Us Weekly, the reason why they broke up was because he was having a long-term relationship with the family's nanny. And she found out because... I guess somebody, another nanny, alerted her to these explicit texts and to nude photos that he were on his phone and also transferred to the iPad. Idiot! Yeah. So, <laughs> that guy is... Yeah, a maroon, as Bugs Bunny Look would say. Her. A maroon. Like, you, That's the nanny, yes. She kind of looks... She has a Gwen look. Like a yeah. Gwen look. Yeah. But, but haven't any... Why? What is it about the... Is it because well, they're taking been... care of the people you love the yeah, most? Well, something... think about it. I mean, this has probably been happening for a very long time, you know, all, you know for, for decades, but you, there's a love that you have with your nanny. They become a family member, family. and so... But that doesn't mean you share a bed. Well, with no, them. but and that's why, and that's why, and I'm sorry to say it, but that's why you should never hire a hot nanny. So oh, I mean, I woman wasn't that hot. I mean, it don't matter because, you know... I, I know everyone should have control. I know it sucks, <laughs> but I would not put my husband next to a, nan a hot guy nanny. Oh, I just a little self-control for but Pete's self -control, But, you know, people, people make bad mistakes. So wait, and Lance, you don't want to you don't want to put a chocolate cake in the kitchen and say, you're never going to so, eat that chocolate see, cake. <laughs> what I think you're saying is that Men are inherently a little lazy, so if you put it right there, they're just going to go well, after it. I think it goes it. both ways. Oh, I think it goes girls and guys. Too. I had a, a contractor who worked, and this is years ago, who, and I love a guy with a hammer, and he had a hammer. And I do. I love a guy. No, I love a guy. I really do. I love, I love that hammer. It's, I love that stuff. Yeah. A guy that can do construction. Uh -huh. And every day when I saw him, I he was hot. Yeah, I never once. Want, but I never would have once done it. He it's about done crossing it, but... the line. So yeah. all of them, I can understand it's part of the family. It's a very familiar thing. You get very intimate when you're with your kids. But has anyone not seen the hand that rocks the cradle? Oh. I mean, all these things end bad. Oh. I'm like, don't dip your pen in the company inkwell. And that means exactly. that someone is... Exactly. All right. I was like, take it out. Take it out all of the right. house. And you know what? fair to the kids. Imagine how screwed up that is for the kids. Yeah, I know. I what know. is someone that is part of their lives and they treat as a mom? It's like a mom figure. So that's kind of screwed up on his part. If yeah. it's true, I know. We have to start by saying that. I yeah. mean, it's Us Weekly. So yeah. who knows? Exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. We love G Giada De Laurentiis. Yeah. She's a fan of, of a supporter of this show. She's a wonderful lady. And I understand that she is now in love. Over the summer, she announced an amicable separation from her husband. Yesterday, news broke that she is now in love with a new guy, a TV producer named Shane Farley, who I've also met. But it turns out that his wife was a little surprised by that because, well, here it gets really complicated. There's this woman, her mouth is still so open. open. I see you. I was like, <laughs> she's like, what? Um, they've been married something like 15 years. They're going through a divorce right now. So um, Giada's reps have said, look, we've known each other for uh, several years because we started to work on a show together, but we only um, became boyfriend, girlfriend late this summer. Right. So is that... Uh... <laughs> You can't judge. You can't judge. Well, you can't. We don't know. Don't, know. don't you wag your finger at me. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. 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 She's giving me the oh, 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 oh. No, I, I believe that's possible. I think it's absolutely possible. And, I, and I've said this before. Be, just because we know when the relationship ended doesn't mean we actually know the truth behind that. There's exactly. people that break up a million times before they file for separation, and then they decide to take it to a divorce. So the only two people that actually know when that relationship ended are the two people in the relationship. So it's really not our well, place to judge. Four people. It's four people. It's the wife, it's him, her, the other guy, the male.
male man. Divorced. A lot of people know what's going but on. But if they've been, if they have been separated or going through divorce for a while, doesn't that person have a right to get involved with somebody else? I think absolutely. so. Absolutely. I mean, I mean I, you absolutely. Can't, you can't help. I mean, you can't help what your heart does. Right. I mean, who you fall in love with, and and I, I hate when people are like, "But I'm still married." That piece of paper. Who cares about the piece of paper? Come on. I mean, it's it's okay, what your but heart here, feels. Once so again. Who cares? Back off. Back off. This yeah. is where the mama bear in me comes. There's a kid wow. involved. Yeah. Shane doesn't have kids, but Giada has kids. She has a little girl. There's yeah. a little girl. I mean, there's a, a decorum. There's a, you know, mutual respect. Like, I is think what Giada's divorced? more surprised about yes. is, she is I mean, divorced. I think what the what wife, ex-wife, currently, you know, is more surprised. It's a celebrity, so that's even harder to yeah. take as a woman. It's someone who's in the limelight. It makes you feel bad. I, I mean, know. I bet if she feels terrible. If somebody was getting on my man that I didn't want anymore, I'd be like, girl, go ahead and have hey. him. I'm <laughs> 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 Let's move on. That puts a button on it. Okay. All right. Bye. We all know that immigration has been a heated national conversation. Comments by Donald Trump during and after the debate, they're getting a bit of flack now. Trump says that he would deport 11 million, those 11 million undocumented immigrants because, quote, we have no choice. He said he would do it humanely in a policy similar to the one former President Dwight Eisenhower used in the 1950s to deport, I think, one and a half million dollars. It was called, I think, Operation Wetback. Terrible. It was really an awful, though, even conservatives I, say it was, it was a terrible, terrible program. It, it deported a lot of people, put them in areas where there was no food or water. Many people died. It was inhumane. It, so I don't know if he understands that, but... I, I don't even think that he... I, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he didn't do his research, because if you read about what happened to those one and a half million people, you it's would terrible. be... I, I'm embarrassed as an American that happened in our country. And to hear him say that now is so upsetting to me. Because here's the thing, you know, here's the thing. It doesn't... It doesn't matter where you stand on immigration, because this isn't what his solution is. It's not an immigration issue. This is a human rights issue. You cannot round up humans right. like we are cattle and ship them off to some undisclosed location. It's not the right thing to do. And what he's doing is he's ignoring the fact that as a country, we need to come together and find a reasonable solution to create a path to legal citizenship for these 11 million people. Right. Why doesn't he come up with a plan? Okay. Fix that. One of the things for me, um, and, and I hear you, and, I, and it is embarrassing, but you got to remember, we also came from a history of slavery in so this country, yes, also. Right. So it's um, not like it's a one thing that you know. It's a lot of messed up things going on. Either of those things. But what I think. I know it's toted around a lot, and, and I know Donald Trump gets this as, like, the label of being racist. And one of the things I wanted to acknowledge is that sometimes it's not racism, this frustration with immigration. It's right. like I was saying earlier, I have a friend last year, he lost his home, like, he doesn't know where he's gonna live. He went to go apply for welfare, and he was denied. Right. And his chief complaint, and I know he's not racist, racist is that you know, there were people that I know didn't even really speak English that had government jobs denying me as an yes. American, where can I but go? But I don't think you that an illegal alien can get a government also. job, can they? Well, that's the thing. Here's the thing, and I will explain this to you. I, I totally get where your friend is coming. And I'm empathetic to that, because I have plenty of family that can't get those jobs, and they're here legally, and they followed the path to right. be here. Mm -hmm. But I think the conventional wisdom is that illegal aliens are taking jobs from American people. And economists genuinely agree that that's actually not true. And the reason is when you... It's absolutely not true. And when you come here, you're taking... These people are taking very low-skilled jobs, and what they actually end up doing for the economy is they raise wages for American workers. So you have to really understand how this is affecting it before you say, well, okay, the issue that is was illegal his perspective, Because the reality is yeah. that did happen to him, yeah. and that was his situation. Right, his so reality. he can't get a job. Right. And so we, what we don't think about is there are people who do come in here illegally, mm -hmm. and I do think there should be a process for them to become legal citizens right. once they're here. But That's the reality is there are a lot of Americans who don't have jobs, can't eat, can't pay their rent, and they're frustrated right. because well, it's so many people That's what we don't have to see. So, right. so I think there's a the perspective yeah. is where do I go right, if then, I can't take care of myself? Do I go somewhere else? Economic you issue? just blame the person. Well, it's an economic yeah. issue, it's not an immigration yeah. issue. You know what bothers me? I mean, beyond everything else, did you learn about Operation Wetback in school? I was a no, no, I never heard of that. Never schools heard of that. Heard I'm disgusted this by that word. To children, and I, we need to know yeah. the things that we did in the past in order to avoid doing them in the future. And, right. I, and yeah. I, it's ridiculous that we don't accept the negative things that we've done and learn from them. And can I ask?
Japanese so Americans. I'm not going to camps for Japanese Americans. They really teach a small portion of that as well. And right. Can no, I just make one sad. request? Yeah. Can, can we just all pledge not to ever use that word? The Which W word? word? The W word. Yeah. It, I don't even know people are not even using that anymore. That's so passe I, I, and oh. Let, but it's been in the paper. It's been the name. A, that was right. the name. Yeah. But, okay, put it in the same category as certain let's others. Let's just be all done right. with that no word. Place. There's right. no need for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right.